praised be Jesus Christ. Wonder what we're talking about today. Well, we're talking obviously about bells, because bells and ringing of bells are signs of celebration. And internationally, one of the most, one of the famous ones, the Liberty Bell in Philadelphia, the Zygmunt Bell in Krakow, Big Ben in London, and the great bell of Moscow in the Kremlin, which is cracked and really never sounded. Those are all signs of some kind of celebration, some kind of commemoration. And that's what we're talking about today. One of the interesting facts in the world, because it's an international phenomenon, are the Hindus. The Hindus, like that first bell that I rang, which is a Hindu bell, ring bells both at home and for worship, because in their belief it purifies the space and prepares it for prayer. Uh, we have some Catholic uses of bells as well. Church bells that ring out the most important event that ever happened in human history. Every single day is remembered at least three times. The event of the incarnation of God as a human being in the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary is remembered at 12 o'clock, at 6 o'clock, sometimes at 9 in the evening, 9 in the morning. That's the Angelus bell. We have wedding bells. We have funeral tolls. We have some churches that sing playful bells like chimes, carillons, hand bells at worship. And so it's an international and Christian phenomena. But that's kind of strange because our practice is in North America would think that in some Catholic churches, in many Catholic churches, that bells have been suppressed. Well, the church has never suppressed the use of bells during Mass, during the liturgy. As a matter of fact, the only ones who suppressed it were the Muslim Tatars who destroyed the bells of Christianity and the communists did not want faith to be sounded. In the Christian tradition, the Catholic tradition, we have signal bells, joy ringing bells. We have rhythmic instrumental bells. The, singing, the signal bell is when the priest puts his hands over the gifts, calls down the Holy Spirit. The joy ringing bells of Easter during the Easter uh, Gloria, the, uh, is read. the rhythmic bells, and even in churches that gave out the ringing of bells during Mass, interestingly enough, what surfaces? Bell choirs. And bell choirs are exactly that. They a choir who give a concert that people sit back and listen to, but not the participatory nature of the signal bell, the joy ringing bell, or uh, the bells that rhythmically count out songs. Scientific research has shown both the Russians and certain Asian, Asian nations have shown that the vibrations and tones of certain bells, and as a matter of fact, many, either impede or actually kill my, harmful microbes. They kill bacteria. That supports the Catholic belief that a bell creates a sacred space from its own hollow center, that space extends and creates a sacred space for prayer. So bells are connected with prayer. And that's very true in this case of the Buddhist tradition, where Buddhist monks have special bronze bowls out of which they both eat, and after washed and cleaned, have a mallet and they sound a bell and sound a hum that calls to prayer and, and clears the air, clears the mind of ruminations and distractions, and focuses on the sacred which they are entering. The same is true of Hindu practice with small symbols that are believed in their belief, as we said, to purify the air of negative spirits so they can enter into prayer. The tandem blog which appears with this uh, bell ringing article 
it gives a number of examples of how bells may be used in the Christian celebration. And not just a jingle bell, which we relate very much to the winter holidays, but various other forms of bells and rhythmic uh, knocking or rhythmic pounding, in a sense, because that's what a bell does. Uh, the bell, the heart of the bell pounds against the side to emit the vibration and call us, something's happening here, something I get out of my mind and enter into a sacred space. So check the Tandem blog article out here and know that bells have a family use to them. That's what the article talks about, not just a church tower use. And the family use is based upon and draws inspiration from the liturgical use in church. And then you'll discover that bells are not just for the holidays in the believer's home. Praise be Jesus Christ.